Hello, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno, where we've made it to the end of the BFI London Film Festival 2018. We've had a tremendous collection of films that we've seen over the last nearly two weeks. And we end tonight's gala with the tremendous Stan and Ollie. Did it surprise you just how fragile the relationship was between Laurel and Hardy before you embarked on this? Um, it was a pretty hearty relationship, actually. They were together for a long, long yeah. time, and they went through a lot of ups and downs together. It was like a marriage, really. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, was, it, was, it was more successful than their, than their literal marriages that they had in their lives. And actually, the, the, one, the one constant person in both their lives was each other, more than their wives or their partners. Uh, so uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an examination of a, of a friendship, really, a long friendship. You're playing a, a reluctant tour manager in this, aren't you? Can you tell us a little more? Yeah, he, he, uh, he's based on a real guy, he's called Bernard Delfont, he uh, sort of ran the West End 50 years ago and he um, uh, takes on Stan and Ollie, he was a huge fan of them as a kid because, you know, I'm a bit younger than the guys are playing in this film, uh, but they're not selling out uh, stages around the town, so he has this slightly embarrassed, self-conscious job to tell them he's got to kind of, they got to axe 10 dates, and, but keep it up, and so he's a mixture of optimism and uh, practicality. When I saw the film, the word fragile comes to mind. Yes. Fra the fragility of the entertainment industry, their relationship and them as individuals. They weren't as, they, they weren't as close in uh, real life as they were in their films, and that's what really intrigued me. Uh, in, in their films, films they, they shared a bed together. But in real life, they, they, they were, obviously they were friends, but they went their own way. And what I thought was really interesting was on this tour, uh, through working together in these little provincial towns and this arduous train journeys and stuff, I realized that, that during the course of that they became as close in reality as they did in their films and that's what inspired me to write this story.